I recall in probably 1957 or 58, the National Geographic, which my brother subscribed to, had a special supplement on, the, on this new thing called the Air Force Academy. And I recall uh, just being impressed with um, the whole concept of this modern aluminum structure, uh, cadets that were marching up and down uh, the terrazzo and walking up and down the stairwells. It just looked like a, a neat place to be. It was later, uh, it was the second semester uh, in, I think it was Psych 101, the instructor we had there, we, I think we were talking about bias and profiling, and he brought down the card deck uh, for each of us to take a look at our order of merit and the weighting uh, numbers that, that went into the selection of our order of merit position. And f for the final number of people who came to the academy with that class, I was 1021 out of 1035. Um, some numbers you just never forget in your life, and that's one of them. Um, and at that time, I was actually on the soups list. Had I not been at the academy and, and gone through the summer and gone through the first semester and been okay, I might have lost confidence in myself, and I'm not sure what would have happened. So it was a good thing to know that after the fact. It may not have been a good thing to know uh, before I got to the academy and started uh, going through the process. When I think about that experience of learning what my order of merit was when, when I arrived here, and the fact that I then graduated, um, the numbers would tell you that, that I probably wouldn't have made it. But I learned in that experience, I always believed this, but I, but I, I have proof now that it's not the number that matters. What matters is what's in your heart and, and what your desire is. And I think that's an important lesson for everyone. Whenever I'm asked about my career highlights, and, and usually someone will say, what, what was your best assignment? Um, I, I have a difficult time answering that because as you start out uh, and, and grow and mature, uh, each assignment has different characteristics. You know, I mean, I loved pilot training. After I finished, it was hard work. We worked very hard. But I think back to the times that what I learned and the relationships I built there, that was very exciting. Um, uh, flying combat in Southeast Asia was a tempering experience. But it's one of those experiences that, that makes you much more sensitive to the, the realities of this business we're in, which is putting people in harm's way. In April of two, or May of 2000, and, uh, Two, uh, the Band of Liberty, which is was the local band, the, the Air Force band uh, that, that was assigned to the Northeast, lived on Hanscom, did a multimedia presentation uh, with with great uh, patriotic music. And the multimedia was we had some videos and we had some uh, screenshots of airmen doing stuff in Operation Enduring Freedom. And I thought to myself, Wow. As a four-star general, training people and then ordering them into combat, am I worthy of the charge given to me to take these resources, prepare them for war, and send them forward with the confidence that they will do well? And they did. Well, when you think back on uh, a career and, and try and capture those things that you would say were most successful or maybe most valuable, I, I would say that uh, my experience in Vietnam was extraordinarily meaningful. It was, it was uh, gut-wrenching but it was extraordinarily meaningful to see how a team does come together, does focus on the mission, does take care of itself, and does have, when all is said and done, a bit of a sense of humor. But it did require, in, in my view, uh, complete integrity. You can never, ever overstate the importance of integrity in particularly a force such as ours, where we are so heavily dependent on, 
on team effort, and and the honesty of um, of the way we express not only what we want to do, but how we did it and whether it was successful or not. Everyone wants to kind of put a you know a, a little shine on something that, that they did, but deep down inside, the, the corrections are made when we're honest about about our performance. That was uh, ingrained in me by um, what I would consider to be the, the wise and mature um, uh, first and second classmen when I was a dually. There's, there's guys that have counseled me offline. Uh, they may have seen me do something or maybe get uh, upset or frustrated and, and their gentle nudging was of great value to me. Now my wife is very good at that, and I mean that in, in all, very good at that, of making sure that I don't get out in front of myself and that, that I'm uh, conscious about how I'm coming across to other people. Uh, those people that perhaps you're senior to are very reluctant to do that, but, but not, not the academy folks that I know. Uh, they, they had no problem, and, and some of the other people that, that uh, I worked with, when, when they saw that I was uh, maybe needing a Snickers bar, <laughs> they got me the Snickers bar and I got back in the box. Okay? Uh, I'm grateful to those people. Whenever um, you have an opportunity to think about uh, progress and success you've made, the first thing you ought to look back on is what are the, what are the ingredients here? And, um, I worry in this nation about the most important ingredient to your success day in and day out is your family. And it could be parents, which I certainly had great parents, or my wife's parents, or my wife and my kids. They have uh, been with us and they've given me great uh, motivation, inspiration, and uh, uh, they're, they're the best at, at judging reality. So I, I guess we, we have this thing about you know celebrity or this thing about giving people awards for things that, that seem to be what they did, but really my first thoughts were, wow. going back to the statement, am I worthy? That became something I asked myself every morning when I get up, am I worthy of the confidence and the trust that people have in me? And that's what I worry about, is that you, when you get an award like this, that uh, you may begin to think that you deserved it, as opposed to all those people who, uh, who uh, lifted you and, and gave you your organization the success, but since you're the commander, you get it. Um, so it was very humbling, and um, I, I, I worry a little bit about it because it's, I know me, and, and I know my success as a result of the kinds of people I talked about, my wife, my family, these mentors who, who corrected me when I was kind of getting ready to do something maybe wasn't quite right. Um, they, they deserve the credit here, not, not me.